that's the way. We need to just hang about here. Yeah, boy. Yo, what's up, Fodder Tube? Fodder Tube? Oh, you know the drill. Anyway, doing something different today. Going for a ride with the missus, aka Mrs. Tube. And uh, thought I'd get out of the park because kids turn up and we don't need none of that. But anyway, yeah, something different. So we're going to go for a ride down some twisties to the beach. And hang on, let me open this so I can breathe. It's really hot. So yeah, let's get on the road because it's very hot and we're in the middle of bump nowhere. But while we're doing that, we should probably put the key. Ah, rookie mistake. Luckily, I think with these gloves, I can still fish the key out my pocket. So anyway, yeah, let's get on the road, get some air because it's very hot. And uh, while we're at it, wait. I thought, why not give you guys some tips of what it's like to ride with a passenger while simultaneously just taking you guys for a mini day out. And I'll turn my car though down because you guys are probably here. Google Maps telling me where to go. How far do I want this to go? You can go right out there, look. Whee! Well anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the beautiful New Zealand as always. Lucky me, privileged to get to ride out on these roads. And of course we are doing 80. I'm going to assume I'm doing 80. We're going to have to uh, speculate here because you guys are in the way. Safety camera. I don't know what that is. I don't know. But it is, it's a speed, speed camera. So yeah team, I will be doing a proper video which I'll link somewhere here once I put that out. But just for the sake of uh, killing two birds with one stone. Just while I'm going for a ride with uh, old matey on the back. I thought it'd be quite interesting as well to give some feedback of what it's like to ride with a passenger because I know a few people that watch this channel are beginners and hope I don't hit this guy with this, <laughs> this camera there's a nice lake I think that leads to the sea, that must be going to the beach where we're going we'll find out I had to over exaggerate that noise and you see on a bike how easy like something random can just throw you off and I mean throw you off as in like throw you off mentally and in essence can throw you off the bike too if you're not ready for something like that and you've got a passenger dude that could be horrible so as you can probably see here riding with a passenger is not that difficult to an extent with a bit of experience behind you nothing really changes from a mechanical point of view from your how do you ride it side of things it's more just the weight and handling changes slightly everything's just over exaggerated so the braking is a lot harder the steering's a lot harder the acceleration is harder because essentially you've got I don't know however much your passenger weighs I'm not going to speculate but you've got a human sized backpack on the back of your bike now weighting down the suspension on the back and changing how it's going to react I bet if you're watching this and you're not from New Zealand I bet this probably looks something like Jurassic Park Welcome to Jurassic Park because that's what I thought when I first came to this country I went down roads like this and I was just like what the hell is going on? People live down here? But I'm waiting for that Jurassic Park theme tune and a big T-Rex to jump in the way. Okay. It looks like we've made it somewhere. Let's have a look. Head northeast. Then turn left. Yeah. So how do you say it? Lake Wainamu. That's why. No. Nah. Nah. Moo. Moo. Wainamu. Uh, Self-explanatory. What's that? We could have had lemons and limes. We should probably move the bike as well. It's like parked in a bit of a, a dickhead way, isn't it? I'm just filming the back of your head. Look at this, man. This is wild. I can't wait for the weather to get better and take you guys on lots of road trips. I've uh, met a couple of friends recently that do road trips up and down the country. So they do like three, four days away, stay in different places on the way. I'd like to take you guys with me and do some cool day vlogs and whatnot, or road trips. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Who knows? I'm new to this YouTube game. Continue straight and then turn right. Yes, ma'am. So apparently there's a beach down here or something. I don't know. I just put it into Google and uh, turn right and turn left. Okay. I don't know where we're turning right to, my lady, but little doggies.
What do you mean you've arrived? Arrived to where? Like, do I go in there? Or do I go in here? No vehicles on the beach. Stop me. Let's go over there under that tree. Well done, big dog. Hello. That's all we need to get. <laughs> oh, it's a meter. Oh, it's a meter? Is it a meter? No, it's a, um, it's like a mini transformer thing. Oh, it like a tower thing? Yeah. Do you know what this looks like? It looks like, um, it looks like a beach in Bali, at Bali, in um, Thailand I went to. Oh, really? Yeah, where they filmed, I think the movie was called The Beach. I've never seen it, but it looks the same as this. That's the way. We need to just hang about here. Yeah, boy. It's a good job I bought a hat as well, because my baked bean would be fried. Should have bought a long extension pole and it would look like, you know, it's probably looks stupid enough walking down the road this thing is here. We look like tourists. Or do you just rest it on your shoulder like this? So it looks like? Yeah. Ah. If I didn't have a motorbike, I wouldn't come to half of these places. I don't know about you guys, but driving a car is nowhere near as much fun. And I've got no patience to be sitting in traffic just to come and see places like this. But on the bike, you kind of just find them by accident because you just explore. And it's like part of the adventure, isn't it? You get to see stuff like this and go for a ride. It's not bad life. Well, hopefully you can hear me through the wind on this damn microphone. Check this out. I don't know if I want to put my helmet down because the, uh, the sand. What do you think? I wouldn't. Anyways guys, I think we'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed that little video. Do let me know if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff because I'm very open to doing so when the drone comes, that'll be awesome. And yeah, how nice is it out here in New Zealand? So why not do some travel kind of things on the bike? Anyway, I can't see because it's blinding me, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.